Hey guys, do you own one of the newer style steel chainsaws? Boy, say that fast three times. Uh, if you do, are you having a hard time cranking them? I hear this all the time. I hope I've got some tips I can help you with, so be sure to watch this video. Well, hey guys, Jeff here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in. Um, I have seen and heard from so many different people. I was actually just at <clears throat> a John Deere dealership uh, where they're also a steel dealership uh, just a couple of days ago and a guy brought in his chainsaw it was brand new and he kept telling them I can't get it cranked uh, the guy said no problem sir and he carried him out back and before you knew it boom boom the thing was running and he had no problem it's all in the technique so um, I hear that a lot you know a while back steel chainsaw they changed from the old bulb push primer system to this new carburetor and guys i'll tell you i have ran into the same problem uh when i first got mine i couldn't hardly get it to start and they're very easy to flood but if you follow the steps boom boom one two three uh, I have gotten into where mine crank uh, and it's been no problem. So I want to share that information with you. So come on, let's check it out. All right, guys, I actually brought a couple of my steel products. One is with the older style carburetor that has the primer bulb. I just wanted to bring, it's, it's not a chainsaw, but it's the same thought process and it's the way all of the older steel products used to, I'm sorry, all of the old steel chainsaws used to be like this until they went to the newer style. So I just wanted to bring to show a quick comparison so anyway, uh, even with the older chainsaws and what everybody is so used to is the, the primer bulb that you just push and push to prime it and then pull it up and choke it and you just pull till she fires and runs and then you're ready to rock and roll. Obviously with the newer, now I have a uh, MS250 and uh, this is a, just a nice mid-sized chainsaw. It's great for you know smaller trees, uh, uh, for wonderful for cutting up limbs and stuff. But again, as you see, there is no primer bulb anywhere. And you're going, I remember when I first got it, it's like, what do you do? So anyway, it's a real simple deal. And I wanted to also let you guys know, just to show doing a very fair test uh, and to, to demonstrate this. Number one, I haven't ran this chainsaw in probably a couple of weeks. Number two, it was down in the 30s last night. It is only in the 40s here now. So it's cold and, uh, and this hasn't been ran in a while. So um, this I uh, haven't warmed it up. So I wanna demonstrate uh, how this process, it, it w should work. I hope it ain't gonna make a liar out of me. So anyway, let me go over these functions right here real quick. So all the way up is off, midway down is run. So what you wanna do to crank is if you look, you cannot get this to go down to choke. So you have to you have to release and pull to full throttle, and then you push all the way down, and that is full choke, and it's locked and primed and ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna reposition the camera, and then we'll go ahead and get ready to crank. And before I do, I'll, I'll explain exactly what I'm looking for and what I expect to happen and how this process works every time, and it doesn't, doing it this way it does not flood all right guys so as i've shown you i've got the camera down so you'll be able to see really well i haven't changed anything i have i'm still choked now what i'm looking for a lot of people call it different things but i'm looking for it to hit uh some people say fire uh, whatever um uh, you know you'll hear it do a short run so i'm gonna pull until i hear this thing go Brrr. so let's pull until that happens i'm not holding the trigger uh, my hand is not on the trigger and I'm just going to pull. All right, that was the hit. That was the fire. So now all you do is you come back one click and then you don't do anything until she fires. Once she does, then you start squeezing the trigger. And then off. That's the so that's the sequence I do every time. I've never had this get flooded, and it always cranks that easy. It took me a while to get used to it, but that's the way it works every time. Now, once it's cranked, should not need to choke. So you just go back to own and. Well, guys. 
It works every time for me. Try that method. I hope it works for you. I hope this tidbit helps. Thanks guys. Take care.